Hey what's up guys welcome to find gap and in today's video I'm going to teach you how you can implement this type of splash cursor animation in your next JS application. So if you are also using a react project the process is going to be same. So I will tell you how you can easily implement this type of animations to grab the attention of your customers okay in your website. So without any delay let's start. <laughs> So first of all, I am going to create a new Next.js project. Press Y to proceed. My project name is Splash Cursor. Yes, I want the TypeScript. Yes, yes, and yes, and yes. Again, yes. You can just press Enter, Enter, and Enter. A Next.js project will be created with the default settings. You can see here the project is created. Next, I will type here CD Splash Cursor, and next I will type code dot code space node to open this project in visual studio code first of all i will run the application by using command npm run dev i can control click on this you can see that project is running next we are going to implement the splash cursor animation in our project to do that first of all i will open the source folder inside we will have app folder because we are using app router of next.js the latest version of next.js from here I will remove all the previous Tailwind CSS code. You will see once I will save this, this text and default uh, buttons will be gone. Let me save this. You can see that. Next I have write some demo code and now you can see that this is our simple Next.js application with this text and with this heading. To implement the splash cursor animation you need to go to a website named reactbits.dev. Reactbits.dev. So make sure to note this name. Then you will click on docs. Here you will find different type of animations. Just scroll down, you will find the section of animations. Inside we have splash cursor animation. Once I click on this, so now you can see that this is this type of animation we are going to implement in our next JS project. To implement this, I will simply click on CLI and here you can see one time installation. If you want to preview or see its code, you can click here. You can see that you can just see the complete react code of this but i'm going to implement this so i will click on cli and i'm using tailwind css with typescript so i will use this npm command i will just click on this open my visual studio code and next i will open the terminal in visual studio code you can open the terminal by clicking here terminal and new terminal and simply i will paste this command here and press enter here it is asking you don't have js repo initialized in your project do you want to continue so I will press no here first of all you just need to scroll down here you can see the option full CLI setup you need to copy this command because I am using TypeScript with Tailwind CSS that's why init the JS repo inside our project I will paste this command in my here and now it is asking where the blocks will be stored in my project so what I am going to do I will simply type dot forward slash source forward slash uh, then we will have a component folder components folder and then we will have a UI folder okay I'm going to create both of these folders in my project but first of all let me press enter which formatter would you like to use I will prefer prettier uh, would you like to add an auth token I will press no and which category paths would you like to configure because I already told you we are implementing going to implement the animation section so that's why I will select the first one animation and next it is asking me do you want to add another repo I will press no so this is setup now simply again I will copy this command and paste in my terminal this time you can see that it have successfully implement the splash cursor it have added this block in my project if you want to see you can see it it automatically created the components folder and then UI folder and inside we have this splash cursor .tsx. you can see the complete code of this now simply we want to use in our app uh, obviously import this in layout.tsx or if you want to implement on a specific page so you can use this page.tsx according to your path so let me import splash cursor and now I will call this component in my here, here. let me show you splash cursor okay you can see that now it's time to again run our application using npm run dev I will control click on this and friends you can see that the animation is running successfully in our next yes application so congratulations you can also explore this website 
to see different type of amazing animations this website is providing okay so and finally thanks for watching hit the like button if video was helpful